Hi, my name is Miguel from avoiderrors.net. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to dual boot Linux Mint with Windows 7. To do this, we first need to download Linux Mint ISO. The link is in the description box below. Once you come here, click on the 32-bit or 64, and you can download from the mirrors available here. Now, I recommend you to download from the one closest to you for faster download then burn it onto a disk. Once you have burned it onto a disk, right click computer, then click on manage in Windows 7. Click disk management and we need to partition drive C. So right click if you only have one drive and then click on shrink volume. This hard drive is 40 gigs and I have 20 gigs available for partitioning. I'm gonna use 15 gigs instead of 19.9 since is in megs is 15,000 megs and then click on shrink perfect now insert the Linux Mint disk that we created into the drive and restart the computer when you restart you should see the boot from CD or DVD if you don't see that I have a link in the video description that will show you how to do that now here press enter and you'll get the uh, Linux Mint window. Perfect. Now in the Linux Mint GUI here, click on Install Linux Mint. And here select the language and then continue. click continue here and now in this menu select something else and click on continue now here scroll down until you see the empty space or the free space select it and then click on add here uh, new partition size select 500 megs this is for the swap file use as click on the drop down and select swap area and click OK then select the uh, free space again click on add and now select primary I'm gonna use the full uh, partition so I'm not gonna touch this make sure it's on beginning use as leave it as that and mount point select root that's it click OK perfect once created select it again and then click on install now perfect from here on is uh, self-explanatory thank you for watching this video my name is Miguel if you have any questions feel free to post them in the comment section below I'm still gonna leave it running so you can see the process remember if you have any questions let me know thank you